Now, when Young Thug and the 28 other members of YSL were originally arrested for RICO charges, we also saw Young Thug's best friend Gunna also arrested shortly after. Fast forwarding to today, great news is released for Gunna. Meanwhile, things got worse for Young Thug. As on September 29th, it was reported new court documents revealed Gunna's been dropped from any street-related acts in the original indictment and has been named by zero witnesses of doing any crime. Now, Gunn has been locked up for 140 days. He has his third attempt at bond very soon. Online lawyers already claim that Gunna has a 98% chance at receiving bond. Meanwhile, Young Thug is trying to get help any way he can. As during that court hearing, a new piece of evidence was found inside of the YSL mansion, which will end up adding years to Young Thug's prison sentence if it's found to be his. As the evidence report states, in the name and behalf of the citizens of Georgia, do charge and accuse Duke Yak Gotti and Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, with the offense of possession of a firearm for the said accused in the state of Georgia in the county of Fulton on the ninth day of May 2022, did unlawfully possess a firearm with a converter switch and extended mags. Now, this is a horrible look for Young Thug because of what is known as a switch or even a switchy in many rappers' lyrics nowadays is actually a mod that you can attach to a a single fire firearm. When you add a switch to a single fire, it ends up making it fully auto, which in the United States is highly illegal, and inside of the YSL mansion, owned by Young Thug, was these exact items. Now this evidence is coming out as the prosecutors do not want to give Young Thug any chance of receiving bond. Prosecutors are going to extreme lengths to make sure Young Thug stays inside of jail, unlike Gunna, as prosecutors ruined all chances of Young Thug being released on bond as a tweet was sent out on Young Thug's Twitter account. The tweet states, I'm talking with my roommate and we're wondering if you could swim 100 miles from the middle of the ocean back to the shore at Michael Phelps. Now, what seems like an innocent tweet sent out by his music manager on Young Thug's request turned very ugly in the courtroom as the prosecutors are using this as a way of claiming Young Thug is still organizing crime on social media. Now, this was Young Thug's lawyer defending him in court about the matter with Young Thug footage at the end. Williams is in a jail outside of Fulton County. There are zero cell phones in that jail. That last tweet that was sent out to Michael Phelps is recorded. It's been investigated by the sheriff of that county. And it was a conversation that's recorded between Mr. Williams and a member of his um, close family, uh, close friendships that he asked the other person who has control of his Twitter account. That That is not a reason to. Well, this is part of the conversation, Mr. Steele, and you and others are going to need to have with your clients because this is this is part of, of, of the state's concern. I mean, that, that was an innocent, that's nothing bad. Asking somebody to tweet to Michael Phelps, can you swim 100 miles in the ocean? That has nothing to do with intimidation. So I'd ask you to Well, if, if, if I can communicate through a family member or somebody else, then I can communicate something else. Everything okay, Phelps? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, if your family was concerned that something was going on, you're, you're fine, right? Yes, I'm great. Okay, cool, cool. Now, as you can see at the end of the court hearing, Young Thug's lawyer asked him if he's feeling okay. Young Thug said yes, but allegedly that was just kind of a false yes. Prosecutors raised concern to the judge that Young Thug has way too much social media access, even with him behind bars. He shouldn't be allowed to ask his manager to post a tweet for him, as it can affect the case. Now, this has been an issue the entire YSL Rico case, as allegedly Young Thug behind bars is still organizing crime. An example of this is when the prosecution in the Rico case announced that they have proffer deals from some of the members of YSL that are snitching on Young Thug, claiming that he is the head of the organization, members in YSL that are still currently in the free world were caught by the feds deleting evidence from the case. Evidence that all relates to Young Thug on social media and iMessages. 
as we saw no jumper report, a YSL member was caught on an illegal cell phone trying to get someone on the outside to destroy evidence in the Young Thug Rico case. Now, as the YSL Rico case continues, sources claim to expect Young Thug social medias to go silent soon. That way, prosecutors can't keep using it against the YSL rapper. This is in part of a snitch's statement to the prosecutors when they had this to say about Young Thug. Young Thug is a dangerous man. If you cross him, he will get you and your family as that was word for word from one of the snitches inside of YSL that are currently afraid for their families' lives. As paperwork was released stating, the Fulton County District Attorney says, YSL team members are going after the life of a witness and their family in the criminal case against rapper Young Thug and the 27 other alleged team members. It goes on saying, Willis's office has discovered a document and part of a cooperating witness's statement that was posted to social media. The life of that witness, a cooperating YSL associate, otherwise known as a snitch. In that witness's family are in jeopardy as a result. Willis says, authorities are still investigating on who leaked the discovery material. A new indictment last week added new charges against Williams and a handful of other defendants. Williams, aka Young Thug's attorney Brian Steele, and the district attorney seem to agree. Steele says, it puts people at risk and wants it to stop immediately. Now sources claim with Gunna being released soon, all attention will now be on 4PF rapper Lil Baby, as the prosecution don't really need to worry about Young Thug getting bail anymore because of all of the evidence stacking against him. And sources claim that Lil Baby knows this. Young Thug and Gunna's best friend Lil Baby is now next on the Rico list, as he was caught on video with the governor candidate of Georgia named Stacey Abrams to learn more about state laws and regulations. It's been noted that Lil Baby has been meeting with many legal officials in Atlanta, meeting and introducing himself to be more known in the communities and in the inner circle. This is happening as DJ Academics reported that Lil Baby, as well as other members of 4PF, are now next up on the Atlanta DA's list. This is the same list that Young Thug and YSL was on. And here's even the Atlanta DA, Fannie Willis, speaking about it on live news. In-depth investigation. Recent months, you've had two high-profile racketeering cases. There's going to be more. Over the next 60 days, you'll see two more. Now, after this was broadcasted on the live news, it didn't take long for Lil Baby's reaction to be released. As Lil Baby tweeted, I'm trying to start an investment group for the young millionaires. We could run the world if we play it right. As someone replied, man, you better be looking out for that Rico everybody keeps talking about. With Lil Baby replying, only God can judge me. Two weeks later, reporters also caught up with Lil Baby outside of an airport. Hello. How you doing Lil Baby? Lil Baby. Lil Baby, how's Young and Young Thug doing? Right. I know you know all the circumstances. Just want to see how they hold They holding up good? Sure. Uh, love what you doing, man. Now, due to prosecutors being so hard on Young Thug, his lawyers are now starting to push back a bit, as Young Thug did an interview with his legal team discussing his living situation. Young Thug's lawyer put out this statement. Young Thug's lawyer filed an emergency motion in hopes of getting him released immediately on bond. Why the urgency? Well, attorney Brian Steele says the YSL honcho is being held in total isolation in a windowless cement compartment with only a bed and a toilet. He adds, the jail cell has an overhead light that remains on 24 hours a day, preventing Young Thug from getting any sleep. Further, Steele says Young Thug has no access to the media or any opportunity to exercise, shave, or have any human contact and don't get him started on the food menu. According to his attorney, Young Thug is getting a tray of inedible food. Steele included the quotes around the food sarcastically. Now, while it sounds like he's basically describing a stereotypical jail cell, Steele says the conditions violate Young Thug's constitutional rights. In particular, the 8th and 14th Amendments. Now, this did not settle well, however, with the Fulton County General. The Fulton County allegedly prides themselves 
focus on providing livable situations for all living situations. As they share these photos of Young Thug's jail cell on live TV, exposing all of the negative claims by Young Thug's lawyer. Young Thug lives here in this jail cell alone from all other inmates. It includes an average size cell, private bathroom with a small wall blocking him from the door window, as well as a mattress to go over the steel bed. At the end of this, Young Thug's reaction to the public was released as this was later shared at a concert in Atlanta. <laughs> Anyways, it's been District Trending and I'm ending the video here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the Young Thug case.